Okay. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Very good. Okay. Good. No problem. No problem today. Everything is fine. Good evening. No, no. Today no problem. Okay. Good. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, today we're going to start with a little practice, well, review. When we talk about big family, right? Okay. You come from a big family? Listen to me, Lee and Marcus talk about the family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Okay, right? So this was for you to remember the... the vocabulary intonation of I come from a big family. Then uh, we had yesterday about the quantifiers. Okay, we're talking about quantities, right? Amounts. Okay, so now we're going to continue with this topic. And remember that we're talking about quantities. Like how many, how many brothers do you have? I have three brothers, two sisters, okay? So that's a quantity, how many? And there are more words that you will see here in this video. This was the last video that we watched yesterday. Child. A few couples. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns. Except, no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. percent you may say all and then you work down the scale depending okay good now are these uh, are these meanings clear for you 
Okay, remember that this is like the, in the last, uh, let's say to the top, most, nearly all, all, many, a lot, and some are in the middle of the scale, the middle here. Then not many, a few and few is below the half. Okay, and this is the last one. Okay, you know, more or less could be that from, from zero to 35, from 35 to 70, maybe 70, 75 percent. And then this one from 20, 75 percent to 100. Okay, when you say most, could be approximately the 75 percent. Okay, uh, when you say nearly all, maybe 90, 95, right? And all is 100%. Okay, so this is one of the, how you can uh, express quantities in a approximate way, right? Not, exact, not, not exactly, because you don't say the, the study, well, if you use the statistics, with percentage, you can say 90% of the families uh, have only one child. 75% of families have only one child. When you have exact numbers after, um, let's say, a, a survey or some, you know, uh, statistics that you follow, right? Then you have many, a lot of, some, uh, you also have no, many, not many, a few and few, okay? And the last one, which is 0%, it would be no one, okay? No one or nobody. Questions about this vocabulary, people? It's a question. Maja Pablo, hubo Juan? Uh, I nearly is uh, my project, my project installation uh, complete. Cuando puedo decir que mi proyecto está terminado o casi terminado? Uh, but that's different. Okay, because you're talking about a project, right? Then you say my project is nearly finished, almost finished. Okay, because you're talking about terminal, right? And then this is nearly all, okay? Then you're gonna say different, my project is almost finished, almost done. Okay, so then uh, I almost finished. For example, the, uh, this, this course, this course finishes when? On Thursday, right? So this course is almost, Finish, nearly, nearly finished, okay? So almost. Then here one we use, um, that would be almost. Almost done. Almost. Mm -hmm. Almost done, almost. Almost. Mm -hmm. uh, we can use, Finished. Okay, almost done, almost finished. Okay. Uh, you can talk about the platform, and the platform you can say is all done. Then you can say nearly done, nearly almost done, almost finished. Okay. And then you can use this one, right? So this is another way to measure the progress. Okay. Good. Another question. Ask questions, no problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Question. Uh, ¿Por qué no aparece el mosh? 
Vai. Ele errar o mouse. Ele errar o mouse. Uh -huh. é, because here they are using countable nouns. Ok. É, for example, this is couples, parejas, families. Aqui estamos hablando de count nouns, plurals. Y el much, much is for uncountable nouns. Ok. For example, the, you can say many families are smaller. But you can say, for example, eh, much water is wasted. But water is an uncountable noun. Okay, so then uh, you can use it with, a, let's say, um, words that don't have plural. Okay, for example, in El Salvador, much coffee is what? Much coffee is uh, planted in the high areas. Okay. So this is one we use. That's why you don't see much in this case. It's for example, you don't see little or a little. Okay, here you will be not much, a little, little. Okay, here you could use much, but the noun here, it would be in a non-count noun. Rice, the, uh, you can use rice, water, milk, uh, powder, a uh, flower, okay? So those nouns that you cannot count. Okay, what else? Another question? Go, go, ask questions, no problem. We have time. Because after that, we're gonna go to the practice. Teacher. Uh -huh, Andres. Uh, what is uh, a few? A few. Uh, yes. We can say uh, probably unos pocos, unos cuantos, right? That you can use a few. Okay. Okay. A few. But always for countable things. For example, I have a few friends. You know, in uh, let's say in the United States. Okay, I have a few friends in Marion. Ah, no. Okay. No, no. It's, it's not a joke. Okay, it's not a joke. Okay. The, uh, what else? Teacher, yes, what Carla. is the difference? What is the difference be between a few and few? Okay, few and few. What is a? Uh, that's a good question. You say a few is a, that you can say that you have a sufficient, sufficient friends. Okay, and when you say few is less than a few. Okay, for example, I have few friends in my life, probably one or two. Okay, okay, I have few friends in 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 the united states one or two but good friends okay but when you can say i have a few friends it means that you have more okay not a lot not too many but you know sufficient good friends probably four or five and that is relative okay is that okay Yes. Yes, okay. For another one, it's for example, when you have a, I have a little and little, it's similar. Suppose $10 is a little or a lot? Little. Little? Little. Okay. But for two people, or let's say uh, for three people, $10 is sufficient, is enough money to eat pupusas for three people? No. $10? No. Yes. No? No. Oh, yes. No. Yes. Okay. Then suppose that you have 
you, your wife, or you, your husband, you, your, and three people, your friends, two, uh, you and, th and two friends, okay? And then you said, okay, guys, let's go to Itupuzas, but I have little money. I have little money, only $10. So it means probably not sufficient. Okay, probably not sufficient. Okay, this is one example. Another example is when you say, okay guys, uh, there are three people. Say, so let's go to, let's go to La Pampa. I will pay. Okay. And then you say, oh, you have money. You are rich <coughs> today. No, I have a little money. So probably not a lot, but sufficient to pay 50 or $60 in the lunch. Okay, so you see it's also relative, right? Okay, for some people $60, wow, it's a lot of money. For other people, you know, like minor, $60 is nothing. How huh, minor? Yes. No problem, my minor, $60 in one day. You can pay that, yes? Minor. Yes. Rich. Yes, minor is a rich man. Remember, minor, yes. that I will I will pay the <laughs> class that you taught the other day. Okay, with that class you can pay the lunch. Okay, sixty dollars. <laughs> now, okay, it's just a joke. Okay, so you see, this is the difference between a few, few. Okay, not many, but these ones, all the quantifiers that you see here are for plurals, okay? Couples, families, and families. Are the percentage you want to refer to? Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Okay. Now, give me examples using no one. For example, no, no one gets married before the age of 18, right? Yes. No one, no one pays more than, no one pays more than $100 uh, for, uh, let's say for lunch, for one lunch. Okay, no one pays $100 for one lunch. Okay, we're talking about standard people, standard families, right? What else? You can use no one plays, no one gets, no one no plays. One the the crew, uh, last, yes. No one? No one approved the last test. Okay, no, no, in past tense, okay, you can use the past tense, good. No one approved the last yes. test. No one passed. Also, you can say, you say no one passed. Okay, no one passed the last test. Good. No one plays better than Tito Celaya. <laughs> I'm an Alberto, no. No. <laughs> okay, no one plays no one plays better than Cristiano Ronaldo. Huh? Carla, where where is Carla? Carla? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. No, no one plays better than Cristiano Ronaldo, right? No, okay. I'm, I don't agree. I don't I, agree. You don't agree. Okay, good. Why? Why, Carla? Mm, because, because I think there are a, um, better? a few uh -huh. uh, players that, that pl mm, play. Mm -hmm more better than him. Okay, excellent, that's an answer, very good. Okay, good opinion, 
Yes. I agree with your opinion. Okay, you see, this is, this is the way I say it because I think there are a few, since using the quantifier, a few better players. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, so then another question with no one gets, so no one plays, no one sees. No one, no one drinks 20 beers in 10 minutes. Huh? Is it possible? Um, not is possible. Please. No, huh? right? So no. it's a no one drinks. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> 20 in 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's too much. That's too much. Okay, good. You know, probably twenty in in two weeks. No one. Uh huh. Yes. No one won the World Cup. No one won the World Cup. Okay, good. Okay, that's another one. Very good. Teacher. Uh huh. The the use the lady is 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 wrong or or, or is correct. Which one, Alberto? The use of what? Use the little. Little. See, see? Yes, yes. Is correct or is wrong? Depends. Depends. In this case, the quantifiers. No, no, it's correct. That's why it depends on what you, what you are talking about. We can use. Yes, we can use it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Okay. For example, uh, we can say no one, uh, okay, another verb that you can use. No one sees. No one eats. No one read. read. No one? No one read the Bible. No, okay, okay, that's a good one, yes. No one reads the Bible nowadays. Okay, or here you can also say, then it, that's a good example, thank you. Uh, let me see here. If we sure. want to, yes. No one believes with me. <laughs> no one believes in me. Yes, with me. No. Yes, no. Manuel, I, I believe in you. Okay. Okay, so there is one person. Okay. So they say, No one believes in me. Okay. They say, Yes. Okay. Yes, that's the sentence is correct, okay? Then you can say, no one believes in me except my mother. Okay, no one believes in me, only my, uh, what? My father, only my good friends, my close friends, okay? Well, no one believes in me, only me, <laughs> okay? So you can use that one. Okay, uh, the example that Manuel was saying is, for example, uh, you can say, no one reads the Bible. You can say, few people, few people read the Bible. Okay, a few people read the Bible. Not many people read the Bible. Okay, some people read the Bible. A lot of people read the Bible. Okay, many people write the Bible. Most people read the Bible. Nearly all people read the Bible. And all the people read the Bible. So here it depends on your perspective, right? It depends on, on your knowledge, right? I guess that uh, probably I would say that uh, probably in El Salvador, a lot of people maybe, a lot of people read the Bible, right? Some or a lot, okay? Or well, you can say many, but probably not many. Okay, uh, people, many people are religious, but not many people read the Bible, or not all the people read the Bible, okay? We go to church, we go to mass, we go to, I don't know, different religions, and we only listen, 
okay, to what the pastor, the priest, okay, what they say. But it's not that we read the Bible. Okay, Manuel, you see this example is very good to use all the quantifiers, right? So this is a good one. Okay, now I think that there, is, there are no questions about this, right? For the moment. Okay, the only, the only thing, okay, probably the explanation and the examples that you're giving me are correct and it's good. Now remember that you have to memorize this vocabulary, right? To use it correctly. And if you see, you are using it at the end. And like it says here, Quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down this mean this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Okay. And this is the important thing, right? Here we use the quantifier at the beginning of the sentence. Okay? Nearly all, many, not many, a few, few, okay? And then we have the noun, plural. Okay, plural noun. Okay, and then the action, and then you have a complement. Okay, for example, uh, nearly all women work uh, nowadays. Nearly all women work, uh, let's say, uh, in, in offices. Okay, nearly all. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but this is only an example. Okay. Nearly all quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, and here we have the exception, right? That when we have no one, no one is quantifier and subject at the same time. Okay, so you have no one and then the verb. Okay, no one gets, no one sees, no one sleeps. Okay, you can say here, for example, no one sleeps too much. Okay, for example, uh, let's say like 24 hours. Okay, no one sleeps too much. 24 hours is too much. Okay. No one sleeps so little. For example, one hour a day. Okay, no one sleeps one hour a day, unless you have a, I don't know, some, uh, probably some problems with sleeping, right? In that case, you can sleep only one hour, but you have to see the doctor, right? If you sleep only one, two hours a day, that's a problem, okay? They call it a sleep deprivation, right? So then you have to contact your, your doctor. Okay, so this is no one, and then you get the action. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, people, good. Now uh, here you have some examples that you have been giving me verbally. Okay, any questions? Okay, let's see the knowledge check to see how much you remember. Okay, uh, friend, Javier, can you please read the instructions and the example number one? Okay. The instruction? Yes, sir. Okay, instruction. Read the following sentences, select the response with the quantifier closest meaning. Okay, with the quantifier closest in meaning. 
That's correct. Okay. Now read the first example, please. In China's uh, 50 percent 50%. 50%. 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Okay. 50%. Okay, remember 50%. Which is the correct answer, people? Uh, the first, in China, a lot of women get married. In China, few women few. get married. A lot of women. Or in China, all women get married. Few. A lot. A lot. A lot of. A lot of. By the age of 22. In China, a lot of women get married by the age. Okay, so that is around 50%. Okay, good. Paulo, how about number two? In Australia, 87% of married couples have children. Mm -hmm. One, I mean, sorry, one, two, or three? Three. Three. Here? Three. Nearly all? Three. Nearly all. Okay. All married. More or less, nearly all, right? Okay, good. Uh, Tatiana, how about number three? Uh, in the United States, is zero percent of the people who what for the age of of uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. And is in the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Alejandro, say number four. Thirty-five percent of the people in Germany live alone. Mm -hmm. and the answer? Yes. Samuel? Some people in Germany live alone. A live few alone. people mm -hmm. uh, in Germany live alone. Most people in Germany live alone. And the answer is... I think on uh, uh, a few, a few, okay. But minor, number five, number five, seventy mm -hmm. eight percent. Uh, President of uh, American high school student have jobs. It's in North America. High school student have jobs. Okay, most American. Very good. Okay, now let's see our answers. So this is most American, seventy-eight percent. A few, 35, uh, no one, 0%. You have uh, all, uh, nearly all, 87%. And here we have uh, a lot of women, a lot of 50%. Okay, so that gives you, you know, the idea when and how you can use the quantifiers, okay? Because remember that this is depending on your the inform on the information that you have here we have what happened here some people 
some some, some people. people some people in Germany. Okay. So we have a little bit up in the third block. Okay, more well, than half of it. Yes. Okay. We already did it. Okay, good, good. Now, questions now? I guess the next one is a little bit. Um, families and their changes. Yes, this is another one. Okay, now we're going to go back to. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I will. Uh, we'll, we'll make some groups now. We'll create some to the breakout uh, breakout rooms. And please, in your groups, let me see. We're gonna try to make seventeen people. So that means that we have about five groups. Five groups of three. Okay, and one group will be only maybe a four. Okay, so then uh, in the groups, please write sentences, okay? About the, the knowledge that you have uh, about different things, by using all, nearly all, most, okay? You can use uh, a lot of, a few, few, no one, okay? Uh, about different topics. For example, uh, let's say uh, a lot of people, uh, probably uh, not many people uh, went to the cinema uh, this weekend. Okay, not many people went to the cinema and these people. Or if you have uh, better information, so you can share with the groups. Write five sentences, okay? Five sentences using this information. In the group. In each group, there would be five sentences. And there are six groups. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go.
No one takes the toys. toys. No one takes takes the tomar. No one takes, takes the, the twelve test. Ah, twelve test. Twelve. Twelve test. T O T O E test. Twelve. Twelve. No one takes. No one takes the twelve test. Without, without knowing English. Knowing, knowing English. Exactly. Yes. Without knowing English. No one tests the toy sticks without yes. English. Yes. Well, or 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 other example. So this, With uh, you. Um, money work. Casi nada, Eva. Money. Money work. Um, money work Sunday. In Sunday. Uh, casi el sábado, casi el domingo. No, money, 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 money working Sunday. Muchos trabajan el domingo. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, repeat, my dear. Money working Sunday. Okay. Remember that in that case you have to use many mm. people. Many people. Mm -hmm. Solo okay. con get, nobody se usa el verbo. Then the rest, many people. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Voy a ahí este. Uh, A few best players in soccer. Podría ser uno. A few best players. A few best in the soccer. In the soccer sería in the football soccer, but. A few uh, best players. Best players in the soccer. Uh, in the action. Uh, a few best players. Como, teacher, ahí no sería nada más el ejemplo como pocos jugadores, pocos buenos jugadores. Hmm. Ah, but in the action. Es una oración incompleta. It's not complete. If you say a few best players, what? Play. Uh -huh. <laughs> a few best players play. Soccer. In the soccer. In Europe. In Europe, uh -huh. A few best players play in Europe. Okay. That makes sense. It's a complete sentence, right? Huh? The quantifier, the noun, the verb, and the complement. 
The quantifier, a few. The noun, best players. Action, play. In Europe, is a compliment, okay? That is the correct structure. Teacher, Sorry, yes. is play, player play? Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Qué fue lo siguiente? Eh, in Europe, a few best players play in Europe. Teacher, y otro ejemplo sería, many people swim on the sea. Mm -hmm. Okay, many people swim in the sea. Okay, that's good. And a lot of people buy in the supermarket. Uh -huh. Almost all people buy in the market. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yes, teacher. Continue. No one Salvadorian like like pandillas. Like pandillas. Pandillas. No one. No one likes. No, no one, one likes, likes guns. Uh, no one likes guns. Guns in El Salvador. Guns in El Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. No one. No likes one. Like no guns. one likes guns. Gang. G A N G S. Gang. Uh huh. Yes, that's correct. Okay. No one likes guns in El Salvador. No. Ah, uh, una más. Ya, ya, ya apunté ese. Ajá. Uh Tres -huh. tenemos. No okay. one. Ajá. Uh, ahora pongamos. No one likes diet. Morir. Eh, just uh, another. No. Just another one. Not many. Many. Ah, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. No solo no one. Okay. Just another one too. No problem. Okay. Ah, ok. ¿Pero cómo podría ser un ejemplo okay. de los otros? Eh, por ejemplo, eh, not many people, not many people ah, okay, okay, yeah. speak ah, English, correcto. speak English okay. in El Salvador. Sí. Not many. Not, not many people, mm -hmm. not many people, mm -hmm. people speak English and El Salvador. Okay, good. Sigamos ahí. Los Andes, Los Okay. Okay. A few those are comprehensive. Dijimos, bro. Pero, ajá. A few boss, pero de eso no lleva a él. All, cat, all cats are hungry. <laughs> es que sí. <laughs> all, all, all cats. cats. All cats what? <laughs> Son enamados. Are hungry. Yes, are angry. Yes. But I'm verdad. They are angry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they are crazy. Es que todos los aruñan. They are crazy. Mm -hmm. They are very jealous. No, creo que all, all cats are horny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the sunrise. Yes, that's that's. I, I mean, they they are weird. All cats, no, all cats are weird. They are strange. Are weird. Yeah. See, weird. Yeah. our cats are dangerous. <laughs> okay, good. Well, you have more examples there. Okay, good. Continue. Okay. Yes. Okay. Es que ese. No sé, no sé si ese almost eh, solamente es most. No, almost. 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 Ah, almost is one and most is another one. Did so you, they, they are it's, different. It's okay, the, the, the sentences. Almost men drink beer every weekend. Uh, no, most men. Most. Most men. 
drink. Most men drink mm -hmm. beer every weekend. Okay, yes, that the sentence is correct. Okay, not true, but correct. <laughs> 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 okay, what else? Because it's not, it's not most, it's merely all. No, okay. Merely all. No, but it's correct. Good. Most men drink beer every week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahí como fue la aclaración que me hizo de almost y most? They are different words. Most is the, the majority. Almost. Almost. Casi. Casi, ajá. Uh -huh, uh -huh, so uh -huh. different. It's, they are different. Entonces, si sería, must men drink beer every weekend. Sí, así como no tenés, solamente que en lugar de almost, tiene que ser must. Mm -hmm. Only must, ok. Yes, that's correct. Ok. We have the, well, five sentences only. Yes, only that. Ok, read them. Ok. Eh, a few women like women, soccer. Women, a few women. Women. Likes soccer in El Salvador. Okay. Most men drink beer every weekend. Mm -hmm. No one likes to go to the dentist. Mm -hmm. Yes. No one likes a study on Sunday. Okay. All Salvadorian tastes the pupusas. Perfect. Excellent. Very good examples. Congratulations, okay. people. Very good. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now let's. <laughs> I will use a smartphone. And nearly all men like the soccer. Mm -hmm. Most people celebrate celebrate Christmas. Many people infect COVID-29 around the world. A lot of people eat the pussas. Some family have it, have many children in the Salvador. So many times we go to the gym. I see young people like to work. This family has pets. Their families have pets. Okay, Manuel, very good. Okay. These are the, the, the sentences that you wrote. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now let's go back to the, the, the group. Yes. Work in the world. Okay, this is teamwork. 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 Very good. Okay. Okay, good. All right. So I guess that well, you had a, the practice right with uh, with the sentences. Only one Navas. What were you saying? Uh, you were. I uh, in sample. Uh huh. And in sample is a minor is Pablo. Uh huh. In sample is no no money play. No money get light play soccer. Not many. Get light play soccer. Mm, there is some, you're missing the noun. Not many. What? Get light play soccer. No, there is something missing there. Or oh, nobody. Uh, 
Woman, man, children. Oh. Not many men, not many women. Yo, I don't know. Uh, no money, get. Uh, uh, men. Uh, it's men. Okay, not many men. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes. Not no many men, get. Play soccer. Good. Not many men like play, play soccer. soccer. Not many men play soccer. Okay, yes. good. Uh -huh. Another one? Uh, is, is the, the pool is almost full. Okay, that's uh, that was not in the quantifiers. No estaba en the quantifiers, but it's correct. Okay, the swimming pool is almost, okay, let's say full. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just something. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, Pablo, you read yours. You read yours, right? You told me yours in the group. Yes. Also, Manuel, you told me yours in the group. And Francisco, you were talking about the, uh, Javier. You were talking about the cats. Minor or Pablo. Hey, okay, Carla, you read yours right in the group too. And then, yes. Okay, people, so then uh, for tomorrow we have a little more practice of this, but then we have some reading and then we also have another activity. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, practice uh, with, this, with this vocabulary. Complete the platform. If you have questions about the platform, let me know in the chat, okay, so that I can give you a hand. Okay, I can sure. give you help. Yes, Mayor? Eh, en la plataforma es los foros y las actividades, ¿verdad? Lo que tenemos uh -huh. que llenar prácticamente. Yes. Que, eh, por lo del incidente que me pasaba a mí. Uh -huh. Pero yo estoy revisando lo de mi plataforma y lo tengo completo. No sé vale. que... ¿Y no lo han resuelto todavía? Ya mandé el mensaje. Eh, ajá, eh, igual yo le escribí a... a, a, a no sé, a Luis. Mm -hmm. Okay, pero yo se lo mandé también a, a Jonathan, a otro, a la persona ahí ah, que okay. nos puede echar la mano para, por eso le puse ahí en el chat que si cuando lo resuelva me avisa y si no, pues mañana también me avisa para recordarles, ¿ok? Dicho, okay. Okay. A ver pero, si hay algún problema de plataforma o algo. Mm -hmm. Eso le quería preguntar igual, porque a, a mí me escribieron ahora, mm -hmm. diciéndome que no había avanzado nada y solo el examen final me hace falta. Right. Okay, entonces, este, eso mándemelo al chat para yo poder, este, ¿cómo es que se llama? Uh, hablar con los encargados que revisen la plataforma por si, este, no está registrando el trabajo que ustedes hacen o tal vez le hizo falta un clic de algo, no sé, pero ellos les van a dar las, las indicaciones de qué es lo que puede estar fallando porque ellos tienen todo ese control. Okay. Yo no puedo ver exactamente su avance. ¿Se recuerda, se recuerda, teacher? Uh -huh. Se recuerda que usted tuvo inconvenientes por una coma, por un apóstrofe, ajá, ajá. Eh, una tilde. Exacto. Eso me está pasando a mí también. Va, en, entonces, eh, en darle una respuesta a yes, al now. Tómenle capturas de pantalla y me las envía al chat. Y ahí lo vemos cuál puede ser el error. Cuando le parezca eso. Ah, perfecto. Ok, entonces ahí yo le puedo echar la mano porque cabal, a veces solo es el, a veces el tipo de apóstrofe de la computadora, el que yo uso a veces no es compatible con la plataforma, entonces me sale mal. Pero en ese sentido la plataforma se lo califica mal. Ajá, por eso. Entonces cuando encuentren esas situaciones sí, que van bueno, aquí, lo bien. Ajá, me lo mandan a, a mi chat y ahí, y ahí vemos cómo lo resolvemos. Ok. Ok, ahí le, en ese sentido le, le, yo les puedo dar. Ahí, ahí está en el, en el chat, aparece como profesor en el chat general, creo, pero es el 7583-2507. Okay. Teacher, yo creo que yo no estoy en ese chat. No está en ese chat. Le... No, no creo. Ok, va, entonces este le voy a mandar. Yo? Bueno, pero ahorita creo que no puedo abrir el. Déjenme ver. Open the link. Yes. Sí, porque yo necesito ayuda en un ejercicio okay. de la primera unidad que 
lo respondo, pero cada vez que lo respondo todo me sale malo, no entiendo qué pasa. Bueno, veamos. Ok, aquí está en este link. Todo está malo. Ok, le, le, da, <risa> le dan clic a ese, copien ese link o denle clic. Imposible que todo esté malo, algo tiene que estar bueno. ¿eh? <risa> no soy tan mala, ¿eh? No, no. <risa> Algún punto, una coma, lo que decía. Sí, ahí en el chat está el, sí. el link. Denle clic a ese link y de una, de una vez los une al. Al, ¿Cómo que se llama? Al, al grupo. Grupo. Ok. Ok. Yeah. Ok. All right, good. Ok, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Night.